Hi, during this instructional video we'll be looking at the Hike Vision lift interface as distributed in Australia by Nest Corporation. The lift interface includes two parts. The first part is the main controller and connected to the main controller on a 485 data bus are the distributed controllers. Each distributed controller has 16 relay outputs therefore can control 16 floors per distributed controller. We can put up to 8 distributed controllers on the system therefore we can control up to 128 floors per lift. Each lift will support up to two card readers and they can be connected either via WIGAN which they connect straight into the controller or alternatively you can run two 485 readers which is sitting on the RS485 data bus. To add the lift controller to IVMS4200 from the access control tab and device manager we then select the lift interface controller from the network list. We make sure that it's been activated and if not we activate it like we did on the other controllers. Once it is we can then click on add to client and add that controller to the IVMS4200. Clicking add to client then opens up the add programming box where we can give the controller a name in this example I'm going to call it lift1. We can have a username and password, we're going to synchronize the time, we click add and then it adds it to IVMS 4200 so we can then program the rest of it. If we now click on status monitor to open up the status monitoring for the system we'll be able to see the lift interface being added. We've got the controller 1, controller 2 we added earlier and now we've got the lift interface that we can see all 128 floors assigned to that lift interface. Like we could with standard access control doors, I can manually control any floor by clicking on the floor, clicking open, it will then open for the predetermined access time, example 5 seconds, before relocking. As default with adding a lift interface, we can see all 128 floors that are assigned. So if we're only controlling 8 or 16 floors, we can reduce that. The same as at the moment we can see individually the doors for each controller. In a further instructional video we'll show you how you can combine those together to have them all as one system rather than individual groups. To assign floors to cards we click on access control permissions and then we can click on add and add permissions of what floors and during what times people can get access to. We click on the add button which then opens up for a new permission to be added. We can assign individual floors to cards exactly the same way as we could assign what doors people can go through. If we expand the lift 1 in this example we can see all 128 floors available. We can give it a name in this example I'm going to call it floors 1, 2 and 5 so whoever gives access can get to those floors only. We expand this and we can have to assign at least one person to starters. We'll just assign Greg Kingsley in this example. We can then go down to our lifts and assign what floors are floor 1, 2 and 5. We add that over to the selected floors. We can then also add times of what times the people are allowed access. Whole week template we can expand down there and see the ones available that were previously programmed. On this example I'm going to leave it to whole week template. Therefore on this example the user can access those particular floors 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We click on OK and because there's a change in the access level it will then prompt us to download the changes to the controller. Because the only changes were made was to the lift interface we can only see the download status for the lift interface. Once this is complete we can then hit close to close the download status box. We can now see this new lifts permissions template added to the list and it's treated exactly the same way as what it would be on a normal doors. If we now go to status monitoring and badge that card we'll see the floors that that card have access to desecure temporarily which is floors 1, 2 and 5. The rest remain closed and then they'll relock giving this user 5 seconds in this example to press the appropriate floor they wish to access. This concludes this session of how to add a lift interface to our system. 
please look out for further videos which we show how to group the doors and lift interfaces together and how we can rename. Again, thank you for your time and if you have any queries, please contact your local Nest support staff. Thank you.